So how many of y'all have heard of cryptocurrency arbitrage before and wonder what it's all about? Well, this is a technique that many people have used in this young crypto world to make quite a bit of money in potentially a less riskier way than the traditional ways of trading like swing trading or day trading. So if you're curious about this topic and haven't looked into it yourself, then have no fear because I've created an overview of this topic for you. All you have to do to learn more is just keep on watching. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners and welcome back to our channel where we look to put out interesting and informative content with no frills nor fluff. Sorry for the long delay, it's been the holiday season so I haven't been able to get out a new video for a couple weeks now, but I'm back and planning to put out more videos in the coming weeks for y'all to continue to learn more about the crypto space even though the market is still down. So real quick before we dive in, if you could support me by smashing the like button and subscribing down below if you haven't already, that would help me out immensely. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what is arbitrage on the highest level? Well, first of all, to do this, you need to find an asset that has different prices, even though it's the same asset in different markets. You can do this technique with stocks, bonds, Forex, and more. Basically, the idea is that you buy this asset in one market and then sell it in another market where it's a different price to profit off the difference. This is considered a risk-free trade or pretty close to it if there ever is one. That's why it's kind of hard to find in traditional markets because it's an old technique and many people are already taking advantage of it or have systems in place. Automated systems do most of the arbitrage trades these days to keep price stable across markets. That's why retail traders like you and I can't really do this anymore. However, what about in the crypto world? Because this is quite a different market from the traditional ones. There's over 200 exchanges with a large price distribution. Just go look at coinmarketcap.com, click on a coin and click on markets. You can see all the price differences. They are due to imbalances in supply and demand. And also price discovery is kind of done separately for each exchange. So you have large exchanges with liquidity driving the price and then small ones following them, but not immediately. Sometimes the big ones change and then the small ones are slow to catch on. That is where the arbitrage opportunities exist. Example is the kimchi premium. Remember back in the bull run, South Korea had a huge premium, like 30% or something like that, on Bitcoin. So if it was selling for X amount of dollars here, it would be even more, 30% more in South Korea. And that is called the kimchi premium, a great example of arbitrage opportunities. There are many different types of arbitrage. The simple type, fiat triangular arbitrage, crypto triangular, convergence, cash and carry. And we're going to take a look at each and every one of them in case you're curious. Simple arbitrage is quite simple. You buy a coin on one exchange and sell it on another exchange at the same time or close to the same time. You can earn the spread, which is the difference between the prices instantly in this case. So in some situations, you can transfer the coins between exchanges, but that takes some time. Another technique to do this is to have fiat and crypto balances on both exchanges. So you can effectively buy and sell on one exchange and another one at the same time. Here's an example. Litecoin is $60 on Binance and $62 on Coinbase. You can buy 50 Litecoins on Binance and sell 50 on Coinbase and earn an instant $100 profit. Now, what about fiat triangular arbitrage? What is this all about? This is when you have three assets or two asset pairs involved with one shared asset between the pairs. Example is Bitcoin USD and Bitcoin Korean won. Now, Bitcoin is a shared asset, but there's three total that we're dealing with here. Example, buy one Bitcoin for 3,800 on a Coinbase, send it to a Korean exchange and sell it for 4,200 worth of Korean wands. And then you can convert your Korean wands to USD at a bank per se for $400 profit. This opportunity is often there for exchanges serving local or regional markets. Now you can also do this triangular type of arbitrage with crypto. Even within one exchange, you can apply this technique. So how does this work? Well, you're taking advantage of mispricing between three pairs of coins. For example, Ethereum Bitcoin, Ethereum Litecoin, and Litecoin Bitcoin. They kind of form a circle or a triangle per se. So if you recall or look on coinmarketcap.com, the ratios between the coins are denoted in USD value as well. That's why you can take advantage of arbitrage. For example, let's say Ethereum converted to Bitcoin and Litecoin converted to Bitcoin. Those are two separate markets, right? So they have different supply and demand. That's why there are price differences. And that's how you can take advantage by going through the pairs to get that price differential in terms of USD value. And you can make more Bitcoin or whatever coin you're trying to make in that scenario. 
And there are also bots available to do this. Next up, convergence arbitrage. This is based on the idea that when there's market inefficiencies, eventually the prices will converge due to other people, for example, taking advantage of arbitrage opportunities. So what you can do is buy this coin on an exchange where it's undervalued, and then you short sell it on an exchange where it's overvalued. So of course you need to find an exchange that allows shorting of that particular coin. Here's an example of how you can do this. Buy Litecoin on Gemini for $51, and then short it on Kraken where it's $56. When the prices converge, you'll have made $5 worth of profit. Of course, shorting is kind of complicated and not for newbies, so please do a lot of research and testing before you end up trying this. The last one I want to cover is cash and carry arbitrage. This you'd utilize because of the futures markets. Basically, you go long in the spot market or the markets that we're all familiar with and go short in the future market. And then you carry the asset until the futures contract expires, and then you settle it with your long position. By doing so, you can pocket the difference when you deliver the asset. So for example, let's say the futures prices on CME or CBOE for Bitcoin is 4,300, but right now on Binance is 4,000. You can buy it on Binance and then short it on CME. And then when your futures contract expires, you can deliver the one Bitcoin and get paid 4,300 for it. That's how futures work. We have another video that covers how futures work. I'll also link it below so you can check out if you're not quite sure. Usually this kind of cash and carry makes sense because, but with digital assets, there's not really carrying costs per se. You just have to hold it in your physical wallet, either on an exchange or even better on your own wallet, and then deliver it when your futures contract is up. So bots, if you haven't heard of, are a big part of arbitrage too, and they can help. Because computers honestly can do this better than us when it comes to algorithmic trading. They can execute complex rules quickly and accurately save you time and hassle so you don't have to sit at your computer all day looking for opportunities and manually executing them. And also they aren't prone to emotional effect. If it's coded properly and has safeguards in place, then it will follow that to a T and won't be like you that panic sells or panic buys, for example. You can code your own bot if you're a programmer, but if you're not, you can pay for them or subscribe to them online. Be wary of the ones that are a scam though. However, the more people that use these, the less effective they become. That's true for every technique, whether bots or just regular techniques. And they used to work super well during the last bull run where there's a lot of efficiency and volatility, but now there's not as much. So what are some unique opportunities for arbitrage? Well, like I said earlier, when it gets listed on exchanges, it is a big opportunity. For example, just study Binance. Every time a coin gets listed on Binance, it pumps up majorly. That is an opportunity for arbitrage between the Binance and other exchanges that already have the coins listed. Also, different countries is a big deal for price differences because access to those are siloed. For example, Korea had really big price differentials, but most of the time you had to have Korean citizenship or Korean bank account in order to take advantage of that, or else you can't sign up for a Korean exchange. So that's a big deal. Other thing is liquidity. There may be big price differences, but a smaller exchanges don't have a lot of liquidity. They have a huge supply and demand imbalance. Then you can't really take advantage of the arbitrage opportunity. Are there other ones that you know of? If you've looked into arbitrage before, if so, let me know down below and I'll be sure to check it out as well. So of course, there are many drawbacks and risks with everything you do in the crypto world or just financially in general. Here are some exchange risks. Well, withdrawal limits, KYC restrictions, and hacked funds if you keep your funds on the exchanges. Execution risk due to volatility, right? Like let's say you put in an order at a certain price for X amount of Bitcoin. It might not fill because it might be too volatile and go past that price. Low liquidity, what I mentioned earlier, you can't execute your trade quickly at all at your desired price. Transfer risks, network congestion or wallet maintenance. This is a big deal if you need to transfer it for your arbitrage strategy to work. Also fees, this is a huge deal and has to be calculated and taken into account when you calculate your potential profitability. The maker take your fees, how much it is to deposit, withdrawal fees, credit card payment fees, whatever method you choose. Also finally taxes, and it's different across the world. Like in Netherlands, you don't have to pay taxes on every transaction, but in the US you famously do. So that's something else to take into account when doing arbitrage. So what about some general tips to have in mind when you're attempting arbitrage? Well, carefully set your trades, of course, and make sure it quickly executes. Minimize fees by choosing the right exchanges and processes. Pay attention for, to the crypto world for news and other potential opportunities. Have your ears to the ground listening. Transfer with faster coins, perhaps, if you need to transfer, like maybe do it with Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. 
or whichever ones have less network congestion at the time. Have a detailed plan in place. Know what price percentage difference is to target. Also, how much capital are you going to spend on this strategy? Use trusted exchanges and get a good feel for them first before you put a lot of money in and potentially get screwed by those exchanges. Also, be sure to diversify in terms of exchanges, coins, and strategies. Finally, limit your exposure, right? That is the ultimate canon of the crypto world. Never do more than you can afford to lose. So what about my personal opinion? Well, I personally wouldn't try too much hassle of other stuff to do, but it is quite interesting though. It heavily depends on many factors, as you can tell, like access, volatility, availability of bots, type of arbitrage, total capital you have to spend. And with more people doing this, profits and opportunities will diminish. Also, crypto hedge funds are entering, and they can do this way better than any of us retail investors, mainly because they just have more resources than us. Finally, it just may not be worth it unless you code your own bot and have utilized a unique approach that the rest of the market hasn't caught on to yet, in my humble opinion. Okay, so thanks everybody. What do y'all think about this video? I hope it was helpful or interesting if you haven't heard about Arbitrage before. Once again, you can support me by smashing the like button, subscribing down below, hitting that notification bell. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. This is Kevin, and I will catch y'all next time.